Captain Carter. With the super soldier program in peril, Peggy Carter bravely participates by becoming Captain Carter. Welcome to Centurion's Corner, and today we are reviewing from Marvel Legends, the Marvel Studios What If Marvel's Captain Carter. Now, this, as soon as this was confirmed, I couldn't wait to get this because this is kind of what I've always wanted the actual patriot of the United Kingdom, Agent Carter as Captain America. I just absolutely loved the concept and I loved the episode as well. So I couldn't wait to get my little grubby mitts on her. As soon as she came out, I wanted her. So here in the actual blister pack itself, we've got the shield, we've got her, and we've got a few bits of the watcher, which we won't go over because I won't be building the figure at all. But on the side, we have Captain Carter on one side, on the side again, and again on the back with the actual other characters that you can actually collect to build the watch on there, plus her bio. So without further ado, let's just crack this bad girl out. So here she is, looking absolutely superb. So we're just going to grab her out, have our first impressions. And yes, she looks sensational. She looks really good. I actually purchased this from Smith's. I actually went into the store to purchase, which is really nice again to go into a toy shop to pick up what you want. Uh, she was $21.99 as a slightly gone up in price. But um, yeah, going to go away, take some pictures, see what she's capable of, and we'll see you in a mo. So here she is, we've been away, we've taken her photos, and oh my God, she is angelic and photos really nicely. However, she cannot stand up for Toffee Nuts, which really takes away from this character, really kind of draws away from just, oh, such annoyance of it. However, I was kind of really looking forward to getting this girl, uh, especially from the What If series. I really enjoyed the actual episode. Uh, and really want her to come over to the MCU in real form as well. However, just this figure is just a slightly a massive bit of a letdown in a way. Anyway, she comes with one accessory, and the uh, accessory that she comes with is obviously her super shield uh, with the England or United, well, Union Jack on there. On the back, we have these sort of like uh, straps and stuff there, which just kind of fits over her hand. We can obviously put it into her hand on there on the strap and whatnot. Uh, she can't really hold it because obviously her hands are too wide on there, but it's done quite nicely. And there's obviously no paint bleed, uh, just a traditional shield looking pretty cool. And just a bit of a closer look at the back. No silver part on there, unfortunately, but yeah, we've just got the straps. So with that, we can actually go through the articulation of this character and some forms it's not too bad and other forms it's so annoying. Head-wise, we can go left, we can go right, but because of the hair on the shoulders, we can look down and this much, but you can't really get that kind of nice sort of swagger in there. It's just literally left and right turns. Arm-wise, we've got rotation here and it can come up this far. Rotation here at the upper bicep. We have a pinless elbow, uh, double elbow joint here. Obviously, we've got a rotation here at the wrist and it's also on a hinge. Waist wise, we can go this far and down, there and back. Leg wise, up this wide, forward, upper thigh rotation, double knee joint with hidden pins as well. And then there is a rocker and there is a pivot in there. But because of this kind of uh, big, massive boot cuff and it is super hard as well, I wish it was kind of like a soft material, but because it's the same material as the actual figure, it's so hard you can't even get any kind of foot movement in there. So really, when it comes to actually putting this character into poses, it's where she really struggles. She can't move the feet around at all. And so she's always, always falling over. Um, and even when I've done the spinning thing going around, it must have took about 30 attempts just to keep her on there. But with that, we can actually go for the looks. And this is where she wins hands down, to be honest. The face sculpt on there, you can see it is Peggy Carter. It has got that kind of uh, not realistic look on there, but my shelf is mainly comic versions of the uh, Marvel characters, so she fits right in there. 
So not an MCU looking, but really fits in with the comic look as well. The hair is really nicely sculpted in the sort of the 19 sort of 40s, sort of swift around on there. Got enough movement in there, looking pretty cool. On the back, you've got the silver kind of emblem, like the shield kind of connector part there, around on the straps, and then obviously the Union Jack bleeding around to the front as well, all over the actual thing. On the side there on the arms, a little bit of red and white on the blue, a couple of red markings around. Nice sort of military brown gloves on here with a bit of a cuff. Down to the boots and the legs, again with the red following it through uniform and then onto the actual boots itself. I think you might need some silver clips and stuff on there just to really bring out a little bit of detail, a bit of silver as well on these pins and stuff. So nevertheless, I might actually do an upgrade on this figure or I might do a couple of upgradings because she doesn't really need a lot. However, it'd be quite a nice just to put those on there, how you can bring these to life. So that is Peggy Carter, or Captain Carter, shall we say, uh, looking pretty dapper. Would I recommend this figure? I still would recommend it. However, just be prepared, the articulation is a bit shoddy. So thank you so much for joining me on this one. Comment down below, follow me on Instagram. Also, you've got the Zavi codes down in the um, description part, so it can save you 10% on your next purchase, and it also helps out the channel. So until next time, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye!